medevacs. Then I was gonna. I'm like. I'm like. I. I know. I haven't even seen a single Viking from this guy. So it's safe to land. I'll. I'll lose a couple. And there's a two medevac multi. Uh, multi marauder and a lot of marine drop that completely did nothing. You know. I mean, you're not gonna drop me like that twice without my knowledge. You know. It's. Need to give your opponents a little bit of credit, especially if they're beating you. See, and this is the problem. I think this guy doesn't know I'm beating him. Like, I think he thinks he's, like, totally, he's got me by the balls because he has a Zelnaga watchtower. And that's just clearly, I mean, that's not the case. I mean, he has, he finally has the income up, but how long have I had an income like this? A lot longer than he's had an income like this. You know, and it's really showing. Uh, so just scanning each other out, you know, I'm, I'm up ahead in the food account again. I am going to lose this tank, unfortunately. I, I, got, a, I got a little squirrely. And there's some marines that, uh, they were like, <laughs> they're like, <laughs> these marines are like, hey, I heard they're giving out free whatchamacallits. Really? No! And that's what happened there. That's actually the origin story of that little event. So he's got his Vikings out now. He, he he finally remembered that those are pretty good units. And actually, I think I may have thrown away too many Vikings. Six, two, four. Yeah, I only have four Vikings right now. But I did put the reactor over on this guy. I'm like, yeah, I should have thrown away my Vikings. That was really dumb. But as you can see here, Vikings are going to... And that was just a straight up mistake. And I am so glad he had on the tanks right there. Because that would have been... I did not... Not, I remember like hitting my button there and just being like, oh, oh no. It's like, but thankfully, when you're a little bit behind in the Vikings, the Raven will save your ass with this lovely point of stroke. Don't lose your Viking. No, I hate myself. I'm such a noob. But uh, yeah, the uh, point of drone actually saved me uh, from losing my my Viking army there and uh, losing the advantage in the game. And as you can see. He is making Vikings, like, one at a time. Oh, no, he's going Banshee. He's trying to be cute. And, uh, I'm going to sneeze. I'm, you know, I'm sorry. <coughs> and, uh, Vikings are really good against Banshees, and Vikings are really good at just winning against Terrans. So my advice would be to just never, ever give up on those Vikings. And right here, I scan. I'm like, wait. This dude really only has three tanks. So I decide to uh, just uh, throw like five, six marauders at it and take out some tanks because look at Mr. Uh, look at Mr. Solidifying the Middle now. I've whittled it away. I've taken my time. I was patient. Hold on. Let me... Uh, how sexy was that? I hate sneezing. I hate allergies. But alas. So, um... Yeah, this guy's play just, he, he was like, he like somehow got it in his head that taking the middle as soon as possible equals win in TBT, and, you know, that's, it's, there's clearly more complexity to the matchup than that, you know, um, and yeah, I'm gonna come in here with some tanks, and I'm going to take the middle because I've had enough of this bowl, so now the middle is mine, he's floating a command center over here, congrats, and, uh, yeah, now I'm just going to solidify the middle and uh, finally going to salvage those bunkers. I'm like, all right, I think it's safe to salvage this bunker. He's getting plus two on his infantry. Um, and I am getting a Thor plus one on my infantry. Oh, no, that's him. <laughs> I am getting Vikings, Marauders, and Tanks. I'm keeping it simple. I'm keeping it real. And uh, he's trying some uh, different stuff. You know, that's okay. Throwing down the sensor tower up in the middle. Yeah, obviously a good idea. Here comes some Banshees. Uh, I think these Banshees are actually pretty effective because I was really uh, slow with my reaction time with the Vikings, if I remember correctly. We'll see. But, um... Yeah, I'm throwing down an Armory. Uh, and uh, just getting nice and... See see how... what? Okay, let's take... Let's, let's pause a second before these... Oh, no, we don't need to pause. I thought the Banshees were already attacking. See what I did here with the middle? I have my second. It's being my. It's been mined for ages. Hmm. I take the middle with a big, dominant force, and then I immediately take the gold expansion. This is not going to get broken. 
especially after the past events of this game, there's just no way. He's never going to catch up unless he takes, like, three of these expansions unbeknownst to me. It's just not going to happen. So that's when I tried to take this gold. He, like, didn't expand here, tried to take the gold when he had less tanks, just... Just, uh, he doesn't have a very good understanding of the matchup, it looks like. But he does have an understanding of Banshees shoot big phosphorus grenade things from the sky down at SCVs and kill the shit out of it. So that's what he's gonna do. And he's trying to, like, micro. It's like, dude, there's nothing chasing you. You don't need to, like, scoot micro. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I did lose my Raven and didn't rebuild it because I'm a jackass. So I'm gonna be forced to scan here. He's like, oh, he's totally out of scan. I'm like, oh, yeah. No, I'm not out of scan. Okay, and I, I'm taking this expansion over here. Double expanding, always a always a sexy idea. When you have an advantage. And while this game may have appeared slightly tense at moments, I literally, and no offense to my opponent, even though he's a prick at the end of the game, I have literally never once felt slightly uncomfortable. From the second this game started, I was like, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm going to win, I'm winning, and yeah, I'm going to win. And like, it never even like crossed my mind that I might lose because I just knew. I mean, I knew everything I was doing was right. And speaking of right, when you have an advantage, and trust me, this is called an advantage, okay? Base, base, base. I'm, I'm protecting this entire area. Um, he's contained to his base 20, almost half an hour into the game, and he's contained down here. Obviously, he has this, but that's what I'm... When you have an advantage, the first thing you need to do is not think about killing him, but think about scouting the entire map. So that's exactly what I do. I send this Viking out, and I discover the one thing that could have got this guy back in this game, this base, has finally been busted. And he has had it for a while, and that was my bad, but I didn't really have a huge advantage until now, but that's no excuse. I should have been scouting the whole map before that. But when you're in a safe spot, always scout every expansion because you will be amazed at how many more games you win these long games. So yeah, I see the base and I'm like, hey, that base isn't very well protected, sir. I'm gonna land the Viking. Start taking out mules. Alright. So that happens for a while. And in the meantime, I'm just, I mean, this is a wall of death, you know? And this is all I need to do. This right here is all I need to do. I just need to keep him here while making sure he doesn't end up anywhere else on the map. And it's just... It's okay to be passive. It's okay to be careful, you know? There's nothing worse you can do when you're winning than stop winning, you know? <laughs> Don't ever do it. And so here he attacks me with his, his STVs finally. He had the uh, nice minute and 20 second reaction time on that. And uh, takes it out. Um, that was actually the second time my Viking had landed. I lifted it the first time he attacked and then landed again just to do some more damage. But he sends three Vikings over here. Yeah, I don't know. You know, whatever. And I'm scanning and I'm like, yeah, you know, I could probably just a move and kill this guy right now, but I'm not going to do stuff like that, because that's, that's the old Sahara. And he threw away some games because of that, and that's not good. He did uh, throw his uh, original command center down over there. That's a good move. Getting maximum usage out of that building. Well, not really. And this is where he goes, TBT is the gayest. And I'm like, uh-huh. And it's like, okay, yeah, TBT is the gayest, kind of in a way, because it's it's kind of not it's kind of not as exciting or action-packed, but it, it's got its own kind of play style. But you're not really allowed to say TBT is the gayest if you're this bad at it, is uh, basically what I'm going to say. And I'm not saying I'm great at it. I'm actually awful at it. But compared to this guy, yeah, he does not get to say things like TBT is the gayest when he like just threw some sloppy tanks in the middle, didn't like take his natural, and then like just... Uh, blech, blech. And you know, one thing I like about my cast is that I'm funny, but to, I'm, I, it's too late, man. I'm just gonna talk about the game and insult this guy, cause I'm tired, bro. It's fucking five in the morning. You know what I'm saying? Five thirty now. What am I doing up so late? You ask. Whose fault is it? Um, the government. I blame the government for me being up so late, and you should too. Damn Obama. 
making me stay up with his taxes or something. I don't know. I don't follow politics. <laughs> uh, my head's way too stuck in these fantastical science fiction worlds and planning for BlizzCon to be following politics. That's just uh, me. I'm one of those uh, those dreamers, I guess. I like to read books and comics. Um, anyways, I don't know what tangent that was about. But I got a couple Thors here having a epileptic seizures. Look at <laughs> Did you see him look at that Viking? He was so fascinated by that Viking. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta look at that again. Oh, Viking! Oh, that's awesome! <laughs> like, sorry, I don't know why my, my, why my Thor was following the Viking with his eyes like that. So here he is, uh, hauling SCVs over here. I don't even think I'm aware of this. I am not, but I'm sitting on a nice plump four base production, and I know he can't be matching that, you know, I, and I, I've been constantly checking these bases, so I, I don't know why I didn't bother to check this base, I guess I kind of just forgot about it, but I knew, I knew I was mining more than him, and here's where I'm finally like, okay, this guy has got nada, and uh, I'm just going to come up here and just absolutely obliterate him, checking the upgrades, I got plus one vehicle, um, plus one, plus one infantry, and he has uh, got no upgrades. For his, for his mech and stuff. So. Yeah, taking a look at food count, I am at 191. Well, he is at a happy 66. And I don't think 191 versus 66 is going to work out too great for him. Gay as shit ever. And, and this is where I kind of get annoyed. It's like, okay, dude, you suck, but I get you don't like the matchup. All right. Okay, cool. You know. And, uh, yeah. Slow, careful, methodical, economic, efficient. Those are the words you want to associate with your TBT game. Um, in general, you know there are, and here he says it again. It's like so. It's like, look, okay, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You, you're you're unhappy. You lost. Get the fuck out of here. You know. <laughs> yeah, and so you know, that's me. That's all Sahara with his BM, his BMs. But it's like, really, dude. Like, you, you, like, the problem with statements like that, so stupid, is that this guy, those kind of statements imply that this guy thought he did everything right. Like, he's like, I just did everything I was supposed to do, and I still lost because this matchup so gay. And it's like, that is certainly not the case. And this is where I'm finally allowing myself to be pretty reckless. And there's the Yura faggot. You're a faggot. It leaves the game. Not Y-O-U apostrophe R-E as in the possessive, but no, you're a faggot. The a faggot that belongs to me, and, uh, and actually this is actually a compliment from him, because um, an a faggot is actually British slang for, um, for uh, honor and valor. So he's saying, you're the one with the honor. You're a faggot. And uh, so I want to thank Redundant for for being so bad at StarCraft. And uh, hopefully hopefully I can uh, improve my game because of this, and so can you. That was the point of today's exercise. So with that, hope you guys enjoyed the game. Check out lucomputers.com. They have awesome stuff. You can buy computer parts. You can buy StarCraft II rigs made specifically to run that game. And... Uh, you can help me out at the same time. So yeah, this has been Sahara Drac, SCLegacy.com, and I hope you guys have a good, good morning, good evening, or whatever. Whenever you watch this game, you have a good something. I'm going to go play Castlevania on my PlayStation Three. I'm just going to.